All right, so if you guys found my video, you obviously watched my Instagram story and that's why you're here or you Googled some shit. But today I'm gonna show you guys why I'm using this build aluminum AN adapter fitting that goes into the valve cover. This is the stock one, uh, it's trash. So now we're gonna use this. So we'll go over why we're using this and how I'm gonna run it. All right, so over here there is a, a nipple coming off the valve cover uh, and it will run up to the PCV valve up here. And then on the other side, you have another fitting right here, and then you have a fitting right here. So this is the considered the clean side, and this is the dirty side over here. Uh, that old, that's like the old original um, venting of this motor. But since we're running this motor with a big cam, it's going to be living at high RPMs. It's going to build a lot more pressure. Uh, so we are going to run lost the parts just we'll do this because it's pretty big venting so I'll show you guys how we're gonna do that 3 8 hose right here that we're gonna we're just gonna bypass both valve covers together um, and so I'm gonna install this oh I'm losing parts So I'll probably just tuck it under here, I'll zip tie it up later, but we'll run it over to this valve cover now, so we'll run that, probably going to have to come up with some zip tie set up there. Worst thing about working at home is that I have to use shitty craftsman tools, instead of at the shop I have nice tools in my toolbox. That's done, so now we are going to screw this piece in. I put some oil on this on the gasket. Pretty easy, just has nice little slidey dealios tightens there. So this is our 5 8 inside diameter uh, venting tube. So this is just going to vent all the way all, all the way out the back of the vehicle. We're just going to recycle it back into the dirt. So I had a question on one of my comments. People asked, how am I going to fill it up? Am I going to fill it up to this hole? No, I'm just going to unscrew this and I'll dump oil directly into the valve cover. So pretty simple. Um, but so we'll install this. Oh, so hard. Oh, man. Okay. We're going to have to hold on. another take. Insert SpongeBob three hours later. Ugh. Lube it up. Oh, oh God. <sighs> three hours later. So that's how that will go. Obviously it'll get tightened down more and I'll just zip tie it up to there. We'll dump down the firewall. Probably get burned off by the exhaust. Under the truck, under here, under all this shit. Over here, uh, more over here. And I'll just dump it out the back really won't be that much oil coming out of the rear um, but so if I want like I said if I'm gonna change my oil cut the zip ties holding this down and then I'll just turn the whole thing probably like this is how we do one of the cars at work and we just leave it hooked up and we'll pour all the oil in it and then twist it back on and then so with this line it will just vent vent back into here and then it should just vent back out of this 5 8 line so that's all it's pretty simple um, should work very easy um, you're probably here for the sweaters sick ass sweaters sick ass sweaters uh, my plan is to try to sell them at the off-road expo off-road expo off-road swap meet um, still trying to line up someone to print them uh, if you want one of these 
you gotta do me a favor you gotta subscribe and then you gotta comment below here and you gotta tell me what size and how many you want so then that'll help me figure out how many i need to order so we help each other out there subscribe comment down below size do it sick dialed